you know, last uh, few years, uh, few years, insulin delivery device, device market has emerged as one of the most uh, lucrative verticals of diabetes management industry, given the unprecedented growth in technologies that pa uh, partly change the way this chronic disease was managed easier. The insulin pen market in the, this regards is expected to wit uh, witness a massive remuneration portfolio. One of the fundamental reasons uh, behind the popular popularity of insulin pen is the increasing demand in the low income group. The insulin pump are not only uh, endowed with a matched combination of uh, feature like convenience, efficiency, need, uh, needless insulin delivery and portability, but they also eliminate this necessary of daily insulin injection dose. If you look on market, uh, the global insulin delivery device market size was accounted at 16 billion in 2021 and expected to hit around 29 billion by uh, 2030. It's very uh, quickly grow, you see. Uh, and also this is in input of regulatory uh, um, authorities. Major strides have been made in digitalization of insulin pen, insulin pumps, continuous glucose monitoring and the integration with insulin pumps, uh, automatic insulin de delivery system, closed loop insulin pump system. The centralized uh, regulatory body in the USA and more decentralized um, approval body in Europe have led to differences in the rate of market availability of diabetes devices. But anyway, uh, both uh, uh, US and European uh, system have different advantages and disadvantages in uh, device approval. They continue to struggle with balancing accelerate devices access with adequate clinical evidence and monitoring to uh, ensure uh, safety and such device. This is if I find, uh, I try to find some new um, information for you for update because I know a lot of about pumps, about advantages. But this is also interesting for me, show this insulin trend uh, in USA, insulin use and glucose monitoring for people with diabetes because the delivery and administration of insulin can un uh, undergo many changes over the year. And this is what um, study show that the individuals, uh, you see this is uh, approximately a nine years uh, study. Individuals with type one were most commonly prescribed a basal and bolus insulin re uh, regime or short repeat insulin only. While for people with type two diabetes, they use a basal only insulin increase significantly over the study period. That is what we're looking for. In both groups, as well, there was a significant decline in the use of premix insulin from 2019 to 2018. Insulin pump uh, use increased for individuals with type 1 diabetes, while well, this uh, disposable pen use increased for people in both cohorts. In both cohorts, there was a statistically significant increase in the use of uh, continuous glucose monitoring, although this increase was more uh, pronounced at occur earlier among individuals with type 1 diabetes. This case showed this uh, now it's prescribing insulin continue to change in response to the development and new therapeutic advantages in insulin delivery technologies and glucose monitoring system. Uh, of course, Many people know uh, how, how much benefit we have from the palm because it's life more likely one without diabetes. I also patient with diabetes who uh, have many years diabetes and uh, go through the many stages uh, with development of technology. I can also my uh, my have I also have my own opinion about this. But I would like to more you know, share with you 
evidence. Uh, evidence. But this is, of course, it's true that this is a daily uh, injection with pump uh, um, versus with, uh, with pump. It's more easier and make uh, the system helps automate uh, use insulin therapy and keep going all day long without any mm, not too, too much uh, interrupt your life. This was very interesting uh, study that the aim of the study was to measure the life quality and therapeutic satisfaction uh, of patient with pump and compare with, uh, the result with data of patient with pen. And then uh, therapeutic satisfaction of the patient with pump is significantly higher than the patient with pen. A patient with pump are more confident on handling compliance, but not significantly. They found no significant uh, difference between the two groups, life quality uh, and uh, hypoglycemia occur in more cases with patients using insulin pump, especially for beginning uh, of this therapy. In this case, um, we can see that, uh, but this is of course evidence, but from my side, of course, it's absolutely uh, change life with, uh, when you use pump. And the some the last study which we can see and uh, mm, uh, some evidence for and benefit for a pump. Like a Scottish experience with insulin pump therapy and the retinopathy um, uh, amongst those with type 1 diabetes. They found that pump therapy was associated with reduced progression of diabetes-related retinopathy compared to multi-daily uh, in, in injection. But in same times, I know that we, uh, on beginning of stage and use pump, we must check very, um, uh, very you know, frequently check uh, eyes. Uh, because it could be another case. This is very important check um, well, beginning of this therapy, like one year, check more frequently. In another Scottish experience, experience um, co college uh, colleague uh, used that one uh, against one non-use control group matches by age, sex, and diabetes duration to check for any trend AQ in um, uh, uh, HBAC among non-use in similar calendar, calendar time. They report significant reduction in uh, HBAC and also ketoacidosis and hospitalization for severe hyperglycemia, of course, because we can prevent. Review, uh, one of our colleagues provide evidence that uh, uh, dialware bolus improved postprandial uh, glycemia, that it's very focused, you know, in our uh, treatment, in high fat, high uh, protein, and low glycemic index food. Another um, research published at Red World, evidence for the use of omnipot in type 2, type 2 diabetes, the analysis uh, retrospective many uh, data, and the omnipot use was associated with a reduction uh, with I, uh, HbA1 self-report of hypoglycemia and total daily dose. Uh, and we we'll find an interesting uh, um, uh, study which published if, uh, about compa comparison, comparison among the uh, tubulous slum system by Insulet, Roche, and Met Metron. And then we can see that uh, the best way is, of course, it's in vivo or in vitro study that uh, show that um, in a case are more common a small delivery volume, it's volume influence. The unit uh, piston drive stepped mo uh, motor of the Roche system appeared to have the best performance. It's, but but this, we must uh, continue this research. This is another part, not benefit for our pump. You know, this is big gaps uh, about data for um, uh, side effect or some problems with this. One of our colleagues, Carolyn, will make like 
a special molded data data best, which show that during only one uh, 2020, they found uh, 30,000 uh, injuries and 20, uh, 2095, or 200, sorry, 95 deaths reported that were potentially attributable to insulin part. In this case, but this is not collected, it's, this is a big problem because not everybody uh, delivers this information that we can lost some information. In this case, um, we must uh, make this like platform and uh, more have more data and this is data must be uh, can use different researches. And you see it's a lot of main problem. This is a reaction. And what about this? about side effect. As you know, no, there is a, uh, we have a new pump. This is, I have like this. And uh, one addition, addition was additional trials and the way by Convatec and uh, Capillary uh, Biomedical. Uh, Sweeney and colleagues demonstrated in porcin model of diabetes as hyperglycemic failure appears secondary to inflammation, uh, inflammation, inflammation due to subcutaneous catheter and insulin aggregate raises and preservation as some have previously uh, postulated. But at the same time, we, uh, no, this is also confirmed another information that uh, was pre a poster presented by Metronic team in other uh, uh, that lower pres uh, preservative content increased insulin aggregates, inflammatory action, and decreased infusions at wear time in peaks. Take together, this seems to Im uh, imply that uh, preservative uh, preservatives are not an impediment for inf infusions that survive. In fact, they may promote severe razor. It appears that the inflammatory response to the catheter and insulin aggregates are the primary addressable to roadblock and extend to extended uh, wear. Uh, of course, when we speak about pump, you know, this is new pump, um, if it's before like 1970, but now patch pump is very popular and uh, has been optioned the last 15 years. And Optimum system was um, launched 2005, and this is, was uh, approved by FDA. Patch pump is insulin pump without tubes, and this, of course, is attractive. Uh, and uh, these pumps improve quality of life, reduce diabetes-related re distress, increase patient satisfaction, and are preferred by patient uh, compared to convenient insulin pump and mul uh, multiple daily injection therapy. I have not this pump, I never have this experience, but I think of course it's more uh, convenient, but in same times, uh, I afraid this is reaction because if you all the time use this, you know, this is continued to all life, it could be well, some problem with skin. And of course we have advantages and disadvantages of this patch uh, the, the pump. I will not read this uh, this too much, but this is also um, the, we must remember that is like half plus, but also have, have a minus for this using. And uh, this is individual uh, method must be used for prescribing this. And smart insulin pens. We cannot speak about uh, pens without new technology, which now it's uh, popular. A smart pen with inbuilt calculation to provide proper gui uh, guidance to patient regarding to insulin dosage, memory function to display the amount and time of injection, as well as automatic transmission through Bluetooth on uh, produced computer generation. I have my experience, own experience. Sometimes you forgot, you did or not, because this is automatical. And of course, somebody may be smile that oh how is possible for what yes it's possible because you did this every day many times this is a routine 
in your life. And sometimes you don't know. It's very good if it have uh, some information. You can check this. And this is smart, uh, some, uh, some study which show that uh, the lack of reliable insulin uh, dosing in Parma has been hypothesis to be a barrier is optimized multiple and daily in, in insulin injection therapy. And that you see that it had like 43% reduction average daily meal injection. Uh, and also increase in time in range which is very important. And this study shows that missing bolus injection can be frequent, frequent in type 1 diabetes and also who uses like three meals uh, per day uh, food. And now this is anyway, the study shows a high line in the importance of uh, assisting insulin bolus administration during routine diabetes consultation. We must also remind about this especially. Tag. And uh, uh, this is only one thing which we, I think we're not thinking very much. For example, I'm not thinking about this before. But when I read this, this is very important that how we deliver this information, how we can, uh, how you can use pump or smart pen. Uh, and this is also uh, one, uh, one research show that they uh, develop some infographic uh, instruction for people who maybe not so good in some, you know, it's now it's migration. It's a lot of people uh, move to another place and this is have not, in, and language now is big barrier and maybe it's like infographics show how to use. It's very important and, in, sorry, and uh, uh, improve use this new technology. And, uh, and and at the end, you can see that delivery market will be very increased, and uh, um, uh, geography, mostly of course in USA, is the most uh, outperforming region that has secure, uh, secured a major uh, chunk in insulin delivery device market. But in, in same times, I have a, get a good news according to this uh, uh, pre prediction that other emerging economy such as China and India are also expected to gain massive growth trends given the uh, rapid governmental initiatives undertaken to develop healthcare infrastructure and awareness regarding diabetes management. And thank you so much for your attention. If you have questions, if I can answer, I will try.